Chess friends, Alpha 019 has a performance rating of 4500 LO and our new beast Stockfish 17 Beta, is an outstanding chess engine, today I am gonna teach you chess strategies, tactics and opening traps from Stockfish 17 Beta vs Alpha 0 game, at the end of the video I have a gift for you, so watch the video till the end of the game, let's get started. I opened the game with E4, we have G6 D4 modern defense, Bishop e7 and there is a brilliant gambit by Mikhail Tal, starts with knight f3. d6 bishop c4, if your opponent plays the knight d7 he will immediately fall into the trap. Bishop takes f7, sacrificing the bishop to play knight g5 check. If the king moves back then knight e6 will trap the queen, and if the king goes to f6 then queen f3 leads into a checkmate. The perfect combination is not a series of moves, but an idea, back to the position, we have knight c3 c6 knight f3 d5, white have various types of move to consider, advancing bishops or pawns for development, I played h3, white can choose the standard line of modern defense by developing the bishop and playing castle, but after a6 I could advance the pawn, but I decided to play a4 to stop black's queenside progress. Alpha played knight h6 to get the f5 outpost after I move the pawn to e5 because the f6 outpost is not suitable for black, after a series of moves you can't go for castle because queen d2 can add pressure to the knight, knight f5 and g4 will top the knight, you will lose material in just 8 moves. So in this position, alpha played f6 to open up the f file, aiming to launch an attack in the center, queen d2, threatening to play castle and join the rook on e file, Knight f7 castle and rook e1 is coming. Here black refrains from capturing the pawn too soon, as it would expose the king still positioned in the center of the board. Couple of moves later we have first pawn exchanges on f6 square and I developed a beautiful tactic with a4, a5 is a threat to open up the h file and the king diagonal to weaken the position. Placing the bishop on d3 poses a threat while knight to g5 can be a disruptive move in the position. After a few moves I pushed the pawn on g4, g5 is coming so bishop runs away. g5 queen here h5, h6 is a threat to paralyze the bishop and solidifying black's structure, so after takes queen d1 knight f8 knight e2, sacrificing the pawn to advance the knight to f4, targeting the pawn with rook, Knight h4 can create millions of threats in black's territory as his position gets folded, takes king b1, in this position, making any move except the best one, such as rook to b8, will prompt the arrival of knight to f4, rook here knight takes pawn will target to the bishop. Rook here then we will sacrifice the knight on f6, takes takes and if you capture the pawn then we will play b3, repositioning the queen, to play bishop d2 discover check to the king and target the queen at the same time. When you do the right thing, you get the feeling of peace and serenity associated with it. Do it again and again, back to the position, alpha played knight d7 to develop his bishop and knight in better square with e6, he might consider castle so after knight f4 bishop here knight takes pawn, capturing the knight isn't good because your king is still middle of the board, it is essential to keep as many pieces as possible, rook f4 and alpha 0 moved back his bishop on f5 to create some problems in the king side, it's vital to engage in attack while safeguarding your position defensively. So bishop f4 knight here knight g3 bishop backs bishop c1, targeting to the knight so the knight moves back and I played rook e3, threatening rook a3 after playing bishop c2, it will trap the queen so after queen b4 bishop d2 queen b6 queen e1 targeting to the e pawn, queen protects rook f4 to activate the rook on this half f file, the black position is completely restricted, even you can't play castle because of rook takes e7. The bishop pair is significantly limited by the presence of the d4 pawn and the knights. Can you remember, I moved the knight to, to g3 square a long time ago and now it's creating vital problems in black's important squares, it is called chess strategy, I would consider bishop h3 to seize the diagonal as well, rook h8 bishop h3 knight comes and after couple of moves later we have rook b6 to target the pawn, but I ignored it and played knight f5, alpha takes the pawn, king a1 and I am threatening the bishop. Bishop takes knight would not work as the another knight can come and create the same tactic as well, if you play rook g8 to protect it then rook takes e7 will lose the queen and the game, so back to the position, alpha played e5 with bishop support, knight takes queen takes bishop, rook takes e5, you can't capture it because of this, 
So after king d8 we have knight f5 to target the queen, if you capture the knight then after bishop a5 check, b6 rook e8 check will come through the queen. King can't go c7 because of rook e7 forking on king and queen, so if you play king d7 then after bishop check king ups bishop h3 pawn takes, rook f6 check backs rook check and you will lose the queen, checkmate is unstoppable and chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my youtube channel, back to the position, we have queen c7 rook e7, knight blocks knight e3, threatening to capture the knight then the rook, you cannot save the rook due to bishop takes a5. So in this position we have knight takes d2 king takes rook, knight c4 check can't possible because after takes takes rook takes d7 will lose your queen. So back to the position, rook takes knight is a threat so alpha played queen b6 check, knight backs, takes takes knight check, bishop takes knight isn't possible because there is checkmate in 20 moves. If you can't calculate the 20 moves checkmate sequences then don't worry, just watch my videos regular and you will be stockfish level 8 very soon, so we have king d8 knight d6 king c7 rook f7 check. Bishop takes rook, queen f4, here if you dare to save the bishop then knight f7 will be a checkmate, I am completely winning the game, and chess friends, this is your today's gift, solve the puzzle and answer me, I will give you the solution. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.